When President Lincoln was shot on April 14, 1865, he was wearing a black greatcoat made especially for his second inaugural by Brooks Brothers. The coat is cared for by the National Park Service and periodically displayed in the Ford's Theater Museum lobby. American History TV documented the process of removing a replica coat and placing the original coat on display for the public and learned how the artifact is preserved for future generations. So as you can see, this is the box that holds the great coat. And we are just about ready to put it in its special display case. Yeah, we have a special storage area that we keep the great coat for half the year. Um, and we have it on display in February through the summer. So we put it up right around the time of Lincoln's birthday, which is this Saturday, the 12th. And then we have it up during our busiest season, the spring season. That's also the time of April when the assassination anniversary comes around, uh, the Cherry Blossom Festival. So it's the busiest season of the year. And then it stays through the summer, stays just about six months. And then we put it back into protective storage. When the, when the great coat of Abraham Lincoln is not on exhibit at the Ford's Theater, um, it's housed here. Um, the coat is fragile, so it only goes on exhibit um, for um, a stretch of time. It goes six month on exhibit, six month off, off exhibit, so it essentially can rest. And the resting place for the coat, when it's relaxing, is out here at the National Park Service Museum Resource Center. So we have a specially made box designed for the coat, um, so we can be in rest here, so the fabrics can relax and um, we can, the coat can be preserved um, longer. Much of the Forge Theater collection comes from a private collector um, by the name of Olrud, and um, one of the, th um, th there's a variety of collections associated with him and his um, collecting of objects associated with the assassination of Lincoln. So I see one that says presidential box flags, um, the funeral train, um, you don't necessarily have to open, but I just right. wonder, these are all from that one person's collection? Right. We store all of our um, material in um, what are called acid-free boxes. These are pH balanced paper. Um, we purchased them from uh, a company in Fredericksburg, uh, Virginia. And uh, you take off the box lid and inside the box you'll see an inventory of the objects that are in this box. And you'll see that the ob artifacts have, um, have been individually wrapped and um, in a very stable uh, material. Um, this is a, the, the white is a tissue paper, um, an inert paper and um, you have a, um, a plastic bubble type wrap um, to preserve and protect the object. This is the acronym for Forge Theater, F-O-T-H, and this is the catalog number. So um, a researcher, if, if they were looking for a ter uh, particular type of object, we could search through the catalog number or for the object name in the database. These, are all, this, this, these sets of tiers are associated with Forge Theater. Um, the vast majority of the material from Forge Theater is on exhibit at the, uh, at the Forge Theater at the, in the basement. We have a large exhibit hall there. Um, we also um, have a number of loans that are out, out, in the, out right now. So the great coat itself is in this larger box. However, uh, the condition the coat is in right now, the left sleeve is detached from it. And so the smaller box holds that sleeve. Soon after the assassination, you had relic hunters and souvenir hunters who immediately wanted pieces of it. People immediately were trying to cut off tiny pieces of it. Its owner, Alfonso Dunn, was uh, cutting off pieces himself and giving them to people so that when the Park Service received it in 1968, it was already in unfortunately, very, very delicate condition. So uh, we've found this approach helps so that we can preserve it. Um, that's our priority, preserve it for uh, present and future generations. At the same time, we do want to make sure that people actually get to see it and enjoy it. And by having it up during the spring, we've made sure that the maximum amount of people can do that.
You can learn more about Forge Theater and take a virtual tour of their facilities at forgetheater.org. You can view additional American Artifacts programs by visiting the C-SPAN Video Library, cspanvideo.org, and searching for American Artifacts.